Everybody, it's Future Inventions here with a review of Real Racing HD, a must-have app for the iPad. So it's made by Firemint. So now it's loading, and it actually loads pretty quickly. It's really cool, and it has amazing graphics, great music, great sound effects. This is the opening uh, video. We're just going to pass that. And this is the main screen. And like I said, I don't really want to um, put the sound up all the way because I want to talk. So this is the main menu. You can check out your profile here. And you have to sync to Cloud Cell first. So right here. If you click this, then it brings up Cloud Cell and you can make your own Cloud Cell account. You also have more games, credits, options, and GTI Winner Circle. Not sure what that is. I've I haven't really used that, but I assume it's some kind of high score system. And connected where you can race with other people or join tournaments. So I'm going to show you a few things and options. I only do this when there are really great options that I really like and I like this because you can change the modes. There are tons and tons of different modes and that's really great. Also uh, it has a ton of other features such as the brake assist and this brakes automatically around turns for you and it slows you down so that you don't spin out also, you have the accelerometer sensitivity and tons of other uh, great settings. So, now I'm going to go to Quick Race, and I'm going to show you the awesome detail in, tra in the tracks. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this track, and now I can choose my car. I'm going to choose... Uh, a muscle car because I think they look really cool and now you have a bunch of cars that you can go through and you unlock some with the career mode and if you can't already tell the graphics are amazing so a really cool feature of this game is if I like this car I can go to car skins click add is that coming up on your screen and then you can go to some and any pretty much any photo that I have and I can lay it on top so it'll look really cool so I'll just pick some random photograph um, take a picture of my dog now I'll take a picture of the sky and now you can see that it's on my car Let me take a picture of my dog and you can see now my dog is on the car so it's really pretty cool, and it's a great feature if you have some cool pictures that you want to use. So now I'm just going to remove it, and now we'll play. The graphics in this game are absolutely stunning. When I'm driving by, I can actually see every single little crack in the road, every little um, grain of dust or whatever in the road. <laughs> Not every grain of dust, but you know what I mean. All the textures are really high quality. If you already noticed, the lighting is amazing, as well as the um, the reflection on the cars. And you can see that was just the uh, brake assist function. It just braked before a turn for me. And of course, you can drift. You can skid around. And of course, that's what happens when you don't use brake assist. And if you look at all the signs in the trees, you can see, like I said before, the textures are really high quality. 
and and it just looks stunning on the iPad's gigantic screen. And it's really amazing. The frame rate does not lower no matter what you're doing. I've played in some really fast-paced races and the frame rate does not die on you at all. Also there are graphics for when you're hitting something and I just did that and then it sort of gives you a, mo a little montage of your car going around and I'm just amazed the gameplay is great I'm going to do it again and so basically like I said before you tilt and you can also break the car too just by tapping the screen on this uh, mode but there are different all kinds of different modes and I can change the sensitivity and now like I said before if I overturn then I can um, drift around and the main hard part of this game is basically going around turns so, so it, it can get a little difficult but if you use brake assist then it is really fun if you turn off brake assist then it just gets really frustrating so I don't recommend that but it is also cool because if you turn off brake assist then you have to uh, kind of get a mix of going through the turns because obviously when you go on the gravel or grass then it slows you down and you can also drift and you can brake so there are a bunch of different things you can juggle to get the perfect turn and that makes it really fun and I do have to say it's pretty realistic and it, it just I don't know, this game is just a must-have game. I've been playing it for a while. I actually played two games. This is my second game. And now I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. Hey everybody! Um, just before I show you some gameplay, I just wanted to show you something. There is actually an alternate camera. You just click here and then changes the camera and you can see the cockpit. You have the dashboard and everything whoops you can see there's a dashboard a speedometer and you can even see the guy steering the wheel and you can see him on the um the stick so it's really pretty cool and that even has good graphics and i just wanted to point that out before we go to the gameplay so now for the gameplay Whoa. All right. I just drifted around the whole turn. Let me tell you guys, this is really fun. I actually feel like I'm really in the game. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more great videos. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash futureinvent. Check out our Facebook page. It's called the Future Invention Subscriber Page. All links will be below in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace.